Hello friends, this video on soil part 2 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So let us now try to learn about the structure of the soil. So all we, uh, all that comes to our mind is soil is all that we see just below the plant. So wherever the, uh, you know, a tree is planted, so that area has soil. But if you actually observe it deep down the earth, you will be able to see the entire structure of soil. So this is what is termed as soil profile. So in soil profile, we are going to learn about the various layers of soil and what is it made up of and more details about it. So let's see what is soil profile. Now the soil which we see that is from above, that is basically the topmost layer of soil. If you actually dig inside, you get to see that there are many layers of soil which exist one below another. So soil profile is that vertical section of soil from the surface till where it meets the underlying rocks. So see, you'll be amazed to know that the soil which looks somewhat like this from above. So when we see the soil, we just see the plants. Well, at the base of the plants, we see soil. But it, that is just the topmost layer. It is the topmost layer of soil. So when you actually dig the soil, you see that it is actually made up of so many layers. Can you just imagine? So you see, this is the underlying bed, rock bed where you have a layer of rocks. So just above those, that layer of rocks starts the soil. So from here also, if you see, there is one layer, two layer, three layer, and they, it is like a multi-layer structure. So this, and this is the topmost layer, and this is the layer which we are able to see. This is visible to us, but actually there are so many layers which, con which constitute the structure of soil. So now we are going to learn about these different layers of soil. So the soil constituents are organized into these layers and how are they organized on what basis have they been put into different layers. Now materials, the materials which form soil, they are physically different from each other. Many of them are chemically different from each other. So based on their physical and chemical properties, they have been organized into these layers. So it is something like this. So let's say that in your school, the total number of students in the entire school is maybe uh, say 1000. Okay. But that does not mean that all 1000 students are studying in class 7. Now out of those 1000 students, maybe 100 students are in class 7, maybe 50 students are in class 5, maybe 200 students are in class 9. So on what basis have these students been distributed into different classes based on their ages, based on their knowledge. So that's how they have been, you know, like uh, categorized into various classes. So in a similar way, the soil particles based on their physical properties and chemical properties, they have been organized into these distinct layers. And these layers of soil, they lie above these bed of rocks. So why is it called bed of rocks? because it is made up of rocks, so the word rocks and bed because the entire soil structure lies above this layer of rocks. So it is kind of a bed of rocks. So soil profile can be defined as this vertical section starting from the surface. So this is the surface till it meets the underlying rocks still here. So this entire thing is the soil profile. So soil profile is composed of many distinct layers. So now we will spend some time to learn about each of these soil layers. Now, before we talk about the layers of soil, it is important to know how is soil formed. So how do we get soil? Because as I mentioned before, it is something that exists naturally in nature. We do not create it. So how it, does it form in nature? So soil is formed by a process called weathering, weathering of rocks. So basically soil is formed from rocks and the process by which soil is formed from rocks is called weathering. So what happens in weathering? Weathering is nothing but it is a process in which rocks break down to smaller pieces either under the influence of wind or water or climate. So let's look at this picture. So here you see, what are these? These are nothing but rocks. 
but these rocks are under the influence of these water so the water waves the tides they sometimes exert so much of pressure on the rocks that they break down into smaller pieces and these smaller pieces of rock further break down into even smaller pieces and these kind of uh, broken pieces of rocks later form the soil so basically if you look at the composition of soil so soil is nothing but rock particles so the particles which are formed by breakdown of rocks plus some amount of humus now you might be interested to know what exactly is humus so you see here these are the rocks and from this rock you get the soil so what is humus let's know about this a little bit so humus is nothing but the remains of dead and decaying plants and animals when plants or animals die what happens to the uh, their dead remains so they are put under the soil as you would have seen right so as those dead plants or animals they decompose so it it forms an organic matter so that organic matter increases the fertility of the soil so due to the presence of humus soil is fertile that is it is capable of supporting or favoring the growth of plants so see the most important property of soil is due to the presence of humus so if in simple words you want to know what is soil made up of soil is made up of rock particles with some humus in it now based on which type of rocks form which type of soil there exist many different types of soil now many different types of rocks also exist right so different types of rocks lead to the formation of different types of soil so we will learn about the types of soil a little later thank you please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience please do not forget to like and subscribe to our youtube channel for latest updates thank you once again